Once there was a grand white house. No, not the one you think. This one was tucked away in the beautiful mountains of West Virginia. But the White House needed something. Hmm, what would make people want to come here, stay here, make memories here? This White House needed color. Mr. Color could make that happen. I'm here with Mr. Color himself, Carlton Barney. And Carlton, I cannot wait to see the inside of this spectacular hotel. Well, I'm delighted to have you here in the hills of West Virginia at a, the Greenbrier Resort, which is America's resort. And I'm gonna show you all of the wonderful Christmas trees we do and all the wonderful spirit. And all of you out there in America can come and see for yourself how great this place is. So all come right, on. let's go. <laughs> this beautiful building with the columns there is like the White House. It looks like the White House, except we have rooms in it, 800 rooms and cottages and an art colony in it. It has a style all its own. It's an American Baroque. Well, Carlton, many, many famous people have stayed here at the Greenbrier oh, over the years. Yes. Can you name a few for us? Oh, man. There's so many. Well, when Grace came here with the children when they were small, we did the state suite here, and she stayed here. And of course, Judy Garland has been here, and 26 presidents have been here, and oh, Condi Rice. Rice. Crawford's been here she, when she was at Pepsi Cola. Tom Cruise comes with his little daughter, Surrey. And I just have to ask you, how did you get the nickname Mr. Color? Well, Mr. Color I got because it's, you know, I don't like anything that looks like Let's say it's like oatmeal. <laughs> so I really love, I think color is the most important thing in decorating. And I think color changes moods. I think if you take a room and I paint the room, the room bright red, and then I can change it and paint it light blue, everything says a different mood. I think I was born with the ability to see color like many people don't see it. And I don't believe that there is good taste a bad taste. I only believe that there is taste. I really want people to have the experience of living a wonderful life and we're surrounded by beautiful color. And this hotel represents that feeling of how you can make happy in your life. Is, is that something as a decorator, is Christmas time something that you look forward to every year? Well, I've always thought the f f that you, you look at two packages. One package that was all brown, with brown wrapping paper tied in string. And then you had a package that was d d wrapped in green and white with big red bows. Which one would you want? Are you ready to go for a tour of all the Christmas trees with me? I'll take you around. I would love to. <laughs> Carlton, it's so amazing at the Greenbrier during Christmas. The lights outside are spectacular, and then you walk inside, and it's even better. A beautiful Christmas tree well, almost I every Well, I love room. to hear you say that, and you know, everybody thinks, as I've said today, Christmas is green and red, but Christmas tree, your Christmas tree needn't be only green and red. Mm. And we and we are using today some beautiful candy popcorn balls that we've made here, mm. and we colored our tree to match the lobby. Gorgeous. And these young girls. Amelia and Rita helping us Thank decorate <laughs> with ornaments that you can eat. So when you're decorating at home, don't think you have to only solely go out and buy ornaments to hang on your tree. You can actually make them in your kitchen. Think your favorite colors and bring them into your home and make the tree you. <laughs> I love it. Great idea. So we're going to go on to our next tree, and that tree is going to be a patriotic tree. Let's go. OK. <laughs> This tree is made for, for the American soldier, the history of America, and the respect we have for a flag. This is a very important, cohesive kind of thing. And we always do that in the hotel because these patriotic trees are in honor of those people who have served our country. Every time I pass this tree, I just want to salute. Yes. Say thank we'll you. do that. <laughs> thank you for And we have, service. Th there are so many other beautiful trees. And I'm going to take you to see still another. OK, great. Let's go. Well, Carlton, we're here in front of another gorgeous tree in the main lobby of the Greenbrier. This one is 16 feet tall. And you call it the royal tree. I call it the royal tree, yes. And I'll tell you why. Because 
It is designed and decorated with royal colors. Mm. Now, many years ago, when I was Jimmy Carter's decorator in the White House, I did a Christmas event at the White House, and the honoree was Margaret Thatcher. Now, the English love their purple, and the English love their, their royal blue, like the Britannia, mm -hmm. and they love their red, and they love their pink. Mm. You have to remember, Lady Thatcher was not in the royal part of the world right. as being a royal herself, but I, had to, I wanted to use all the spirit of England. So let's go to the presidential suite. And this, is a, this tree is about tassels. Mm. Now, you know, there are certain things in majorettes and so forth. Oh, yeah. And I've designed a scarf, and it has all these great tassels. Yeah, it's lined with beautiful gold tassels. Yes, golden tassels. Mm -hmm. But the tassels on this tree when you decide how you're going to decorate this. These are also golden tassels. And we also have strings of pearls. You can go right to your, I would say, your junk jewel box, and you can take old brooches. Well, Carlton, thank you so much for this wonderful, fascinating, and very unique tour of the Greenbrier Hotel. I'll tell you what, I'm definitely in the mood for Christmas now. Thank Good. you. Thank you.